It's been hailed as the solution to world hunger. Genetic modification is becoming an everyday staple of our diets. The vast majority of scientists say it's as safe as any food. But for many consumers, it's still too much of an unknown. Now for the first time, a genetically modified animal is destined for our plates. US and Canadian regulators have approved genetically altered salmon as safe for human consumption. Dubbed the frankenfish, it contains a growth hormone gene from the Chinook salmon and a DNA promoter sequence from the eel-like fish, the ocean pout. It grows twice as fast as conventionally farmed Atlantic salmon. But there's already been resistance from environmental and consumer groups, concerned about the thoroughness of safety tests and the risk of contaminating wild salmon. Last month, the US National Academy of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine released a report reiterating that GM crops pose no safety risk. But skepticism and fear of GM organisms remains high. The anti-GM block. They say not enough is known about the risks to humans and the environment. With no universal regulation system, there's concern about the effect on natural farming and the potential global impact if something were to go wrong. Consumers and governments have pushed for products containing GMOs to be labelled. The US state of Vermont has introduced a new labelling law, which comes into effect next month. The EU already has strict rules around the labelling and growing of GM crops. The only commercial crop grown in the EU is a type of maize, but last year, the EU gave member countries the power to choose for themselves whether or not to plant GM crops. While this shows a sign of being less restrictive, the appetite amongst consumers still seems to be lacking. While many scientists are adamant about the safety of GM food, they also say that as yet, it isn't ending world hunger, failing to deliver the substantially increased yields it promised. Is genetic modification a failed experiment or does the science need to go further? And is a plate full of GMOs our likely future? Yvette McCullough, The Newsmakers.